Hello and welcome. Today we're talking about my UOP CS1101 course. This is the learning journal review for unit four. And again, this is just an explanation of what I'm looking for for this assignment. This one has a few parts. Part one, so in our textbook, section 6.2, it will describe incremental development, do the exercise at the end of the section. The goal here is to be able to increment the development of our code. As an exercise, do the increment development to write a full function called hypotenuse, then return the length of a hypotenuse of a right triangle. The lengths of the other two legs as arguments. Work toward each of these stages of the development as you go. After the final stage of the development, print the output as a hypotenuse, three comma four, that's gonna be one, and then we want you to do it again two more times with different arguments. And again, verify that they are correct. This does mean you need to know the formula used for a hypotenuse. So that's outside the scope of what we're talking about, but go through the exercise, verify the calculation, and then write the code for it. Part two, we're gonna be doing your own function and it has to do something useful computation that you choose. Don't copy and paste from the book. Use incremental development to record each of your planned stages and each of these steps. And again, this one's more subjective. Plan three, this is more pure, just your experience so far with the grading system. The grading system is what it is. So this is the time that you want to give your feedback based off of peer assessments for both the discussions and the assignments. Be honest, be direct, and we go from there. So again, expectations. Part one, I want a function give that, uh, that takes the two variables, does a hypotenuse calculation, and then returns the arguments. Also, I want two additional examples of the same thing with different numbers. Use incremental development structure, meaning document as you go so that we can see the development of the code. Part two, the explanation of each stage of development, including the code and any test input and output that you use, and the output of uh, three calls to your functions with different arguments. That way we can verify what's going on. And again, part three, your description of your experiences with the peer assessments guidelines. All right, so this one's pretty straightforward. Uh, not as simple as a lot of people would like, but again, verify the calculation. And this time we're focusing on documentation more than anything, so keep that in mind. Any questions, any concerns, please reach out. Thank you.